It's really uncomfortable down here. Okay guys, this is going to be a PS4 collection video for 2018. I haven't done one of these since 14 or 16. But uh, people have been asking for it, so I'll do it now. Um, this first little group of games is the games I'm currently playing, so they're not in the collection right here. Um, I'm doing it this way because I don't want to get everything out of alphabetical order. Uh, the first game here is Everybody's Golf. Um, this is basic. It's Hot Shots Golf is what it is, but in Japan I think it's always been called Everybody's Golf. But uh, we finally just got the Japanese name. Really fun game though. It's like an arcadey golf game. Horizon Zero Dawn needs no introduction. I'm currently streaming this game by the way. Uh, Twitch.tv slash C underscore stove. Should definitely come follow over there because I stream most of these games. I'm also streaming uh, Alien Isolation over there. Very cool game. Um, it's a little bit. It's really slow is the problem. If which it being slow wouldn't be a big deal if the game was only like, you know, like six or seven hours long. But suppose this game's like 17 hours and it's super slow. So, but it's very creepy. Good atmosphere. If you're a fan of the Alien movies, you'll really like that game. Black Ops 3, we know what Black Ops 3 is. Madden 18, we know what that is. Resident Evil 6 gets a lot of crap, but it's still really fun. Um, Mass Effect Andromeda. Um, we all know Mass Effect 3 got a bunch of crap because of how it ended, so they decided to redo the series. Not redo, but like, new entry, you know, new story, new characters. Haven't played it yet, but uh, it got a lot of flack because the facial animations were bad, but uh, it doesn't bother me. Supposedly they fixed it. I haven't played it yet, though. Last of Us Remastered, uh, port, it's a remaster, remastered port of the PS3 game. If you have not played Last of Us, you are crazy. Um, these games I have not put on my shelf yet, because they are newer games that I got. So, after these, we'll get to my shelf. Um, Fallen Legion Sins of an Empire. It's a limited run game. It's like an RPG. I haven't played it yet, though. Um, Super Hydra? Hydra? Hy Hydrora. Super Hydrora. It's a shoot 'em up shooter. A shmup. Whatever people like to call them. Uh, it looks fun, though. My favorite sh shmup is a. Uh, Darius Twin, by the way, on the SNES, or Darius, I'm not sure how you say it. Um, Momo Momodora, Reverie Under the Moonlight. I'm not really sure what this game is. A lot of these limited run games, I just pick them up if they look fun, and I end up getting to them eventually. Uh, Kill the Bad Guy. It's like a black and white... Uh, I don't know, track the bad guys, be brutal and smart in your planning, and eliminate them one by one. Thimbleweed Park. It's a point-and-click adventure game. Looks pretty fun, by the way. I, I like point-and-click adventure games. Kind of relaxing, you know. Typo Man Revised. This is a uh, kind of like Scribble Knots almost, where you have to use words to complete puzzles. And um, I think maybe you have. To, I haven't played it, but I know words are involved. I don't know if you can see it back there. Like. You have to spell out words, or maybe like fix word puzzles or something. I'm not really sure. Kiro Blaster. I really don't know what this game is. Looks like a 8-bit. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Oregon Trail. I think this might be a point-and-click adventure as well. I kept thinking Oregon Trail. I got it mixed up with this one, but this is not Oregon Trail. Can you survive the zombie apocalypse? It looks fun though. Um, I picked this one up from Amazon, The Girl and the Robot Deluxe Edition. Um, just a little, I don't even know if it's an indie, I'm assuming it's an indie game. Um, I don't know much about it, but it's cheap right now, brand new, is like $12, and I like obscure games, so that's pretty cool. Knack 2, the first one got a ton of hate, even though I liked it, I liked Knack 1. Uh, it's like a puzzle platformer, um... I don't know why I got such... It looks really good, too. It looks like a uh, Pixar movie. But I'm excited to get to that one. And... Cyrilim? Uh It's a deep RPG with light, roguelike elements. 
Okay, now we will get to the shelf. <laughs> Sniffles. The first game here is Too Dark. I have not played this yet. Uh, this was a European import, or PAL region, I guess, uh, from the creators of Alone in the Dark. It's it's a uh, survival horror game, but it's like an 8-bit 8 8-bit survival horror game, so it looked really cool. And it comes with a lot of cool stuff, like a steel book and stuff. Uh, 2064 Read Only Memories. Hey, I'm glad I got this. This came out on Vita on Limited Run, and I missed out on it, and I was kind of like, oh man. But I got this one. Um, I think it's a. Yeah, it's a point and click adventure as well, set in like the 80s, I think. No, not the 80s. 2064, but it looks like 80s style, as you can see. I promise not all of these games are Limited Run, by the way. Absolute Drift is in addition, another Limited Run game. As Divine Hearts, another limited run game. I think it's an RPG. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Um, a lot of people's favorite Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed's. Creed. Anyways. Um, probably the best pirate game out there. Actually, definitely the best pirate game out there, I'd say. A uh, very fun game. Assassin's Creed Origins. I have not played this yet. Uh, you're in Egypt in this one, though, and my fiance loves it. Assassin's Creed Unity got a whole bunch of crap from people because it was really buggy and broken when it first came out, but uh, I actually really enjoyed it because I played it after all the patches. Assassin's Creed Syndicate, I have not played this one yet, but uh, I think he plays two characters in this one. Um, they are like a brother and sister, I think. Batman Arkham Knight, great game. Uh, the last game in the Arkham series so far. Uh, introduction of the Batmobile. Um, a lot of cool boss fights in this game. Batman, the Telltale series. If you don't know what the Telltale games are, they are uh, like they're like narrative based. Um, mostly like just watching cutscenes and then making decisions. There is gameplay elements like walking around and selecting stuff, but this is the Batman one. I haven't played it yet. Uh, Bioshock the Collection. Um, this has Bioshock 1, 2, and Infinite. All fantastic games. If you have not played them, try them. Oh, games are falling everywhere. Borderlands the Handsome Collection has uh, Borderlands 2 and the pre sequel. I wish it would have had one in it. This is a uh, Breach and Clear Deadline. I'm really not sure what this is. It's from Limited Run. The Bunker, um, also a limited run game. It looks really cool though. It's a uh, what do they call VM full motion video FMV game, kind of like a what's that game called? I haven't. Anyways, it has actual video like with real people. I think it's like post apocalyptic. You're in a bunker or something. Um, another game I can't pronounce. Caladarius Blaze. I don't really know what kind of game this is. Uh, epic story narrated with more than 15 characters. Uh, it's like a shooter, I guess. Yeah, it looks like a shooter. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. He would not get to be in it nowadays. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good. It's got a good story mode though. Uh, Infinite Warfare. I really did not like the multiplayer on that one. Call of Duty Ghosts, great story, didn't like the multiplayer. Modern Warfare Remastered, uh, Platinum this game, because the first one didn't have trophies. Great, great story. Um, I don't really like the uh, the multiplayer mode's kind of dated. That's why I don't really care that War Modern Warfare 2 Remastered isn't going to have multiplayer, but yep. I think I read that anyways. Uh, Chariot, it's a... Uh, Another limited run game, but uh, basically your dead father is in this like sarcophagus, and you're platforming with him. Mega Man Legacy Collection has one through six. Mega Man Legacy Collection two has seven through ten. Okay, hang on. Wait, maybe I should turn this way. I'm gonna turn this way. Claire Extended Cut. I'm pretty sure this is a 
um, survival horror game. Crawl. Um, I don't really. This looks like a like a dungeon crawler. Crawl makes sense. I know I have a lot of limited run games in here, by the way. Uh, Kroixler. I don't really know what this is. Um, I don't really know what kind of game this is, but there it is. Darksiders 1, amazing game. Um, Darksiders is if you if God of War and Zelda had a baby. That's what Darksiders is. Um, the combat is very God of War-like, but the the dungeon exploration and uh, item usage and puzzles, they're like really Zelda-like. And uh, yeah, great game. Darksiders 2, um, the sequel to that one, uh, much of the same, just a different horseman. I haven't played through this one yet, but uh, it looks really fun. The third one's about to come out. Deadpool, uh, very funny game. It's a, um, it's just like a, it's like it's kind of God of War like too. Um, actually, I compare it more to Devil May Cry, like a lot of jumping around, shooting, slashing the swords and stuff. Very very funny game because Deadpool's hilarious. Got the uh, Dead Island Definitive Collection it has a. Dead Island Definitive Edition, Dead Island Riptide Definitive, Definitive Edition, and Dead Island Retro Revenge. Dead Island Retro Revenge is just like a little bonus. Very cool game though. It's a side-scrolling beat 'em up. It's like a like the old Simpsons like arcade games, just fighting on the street. So what the that's what the third game of this one is. Very fun. Dead Rising. I really need to get back to this. Um, zombie apocalypse game. I'm sure you all know what Dead Rising is. Dear Esther, um, another limited run game, but uh, I actually beat this one. It's a walking simulator. This was kind of boring, I'm not going to lie. Um, very good scenery and very good graphics and stuff, but like kind of boring. <laughs> but I did like it. Um, have Destiny and Destiny the Taken King. Um, I'm not huge into Destiny. I bought this one on release just because I wasn't because I'm a Halo fan, so I thought I'd like it, but I didn't get that into it. And then I bought this from my fiance's brother. It came with the PS4 I bought from him. Okay, Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. I really need to play this and really want to play this. I don't know much about it. It's like a big long RPG with Digimon. Dishonored 2, this is the Steelbook. We have the big collector's edition with the mask in there. Um, sequel to Dishonored. If you haven't played Dishonored, you should. I thought we had the first Dishonored on PS4. I don't know. Doom, the 2016 version. Uh, platinum this game on stream. Very, very fun game. First person shooter. Dragon Age Inquisition. Um, big RPG by Bioware. Um, if you haven't played any of the Dragon Ages, I, rec I recommend the ones on PS3. Uh, very fun games. I beat both of them. I haven't started this one yet. The Evil Within, a uh, survival horror game that's compared to uh, Resident Evil 4 a lot. Um, over the shoulder shooting and stuff. I started this game like, a couple years ago and it really creeped me out and I didn't go back, but I want to soon, especially with number 2 being out. Uh, Factorium 90. I don't remember what this is. Like I said, when these limited run games get released, if they look like something I would play, I'll go ahead and get them. But if they look like something I don't like, I don't get them. So this obviously looked fun if I grabbed it. Fallout 4, I beat this. Um, if you played Fallout 3, you know what this one's all about. Uh, big post-apocalyptic open world Skyrim-esque game, but in futuristic apocalyptic setting. Far Cry 4. I'm currently on Far Cry 2, uh, streaming it every now and then. Um, trying to play through them in order, but Far Cry 4. Far Cry Primal. Um, Far Cry, but with like cavemen and whatnot. 
Firewatch, uh, limited run game. One of my all-time favorite games, though. Uh, this game, I couldn't, I can't recommend this game enough. It's a walking simulator, but it has a really like cool slash creepy story. You're in the woods, which I grew up like playing in the woods. I lived out in the country, so it's really kind of nostalgic. Um, so yeah, I, you guys should play this game. Final Fantasy 15. Um, this game is still getting updates from like two years ago. I think it's two years ago. Yeah, 2016. Um, very cool game. This edition comes with the Blu-ray, I believe, of the movie. Yeah. So uh, I watched the Blu-ray and then I started the game. I got a few hours in and then I don't know what happened. I think I was in school at the time, so I need to go back to it. The Flame and the Flood. I think this is like a survival type game. Yeah, Wilderness Survival Game. Uh, another limited run release. Futuridium, another limited run release. I haven't even opened this one. Um, I don't really know what this game's about. Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> if you know anything about these games I'm showing, let me know. Game of Thrones Telltale Games. Uh, much like the Batman game. Narrative based. Uh, this doesn't follow the show. I'm pretty sure it's like a side story. Um... My it's my fiance's game, she really liked it, but I have not tried it yet. God of War 3, the third installment in the God of War series, remastered. GTA 5, the highest selling game of all time. Um, I really enjoyed the story mode on this game, and I've played a bit of the uh, online, it's pretty fun. A lot of stuff you can do. Hyperlight Drifter, um, this game got a limited release from I Am 8-Bit. So I had to grab it. It looks really fun. It's supposed to be kind of like classic Zelda-like, um, with some like ro like dungeon crawling. And I love the colors. See all the colors in the game. My voice is starting to go away. Uh, where was I? Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls. Um, had to import this one because we did not get this physical collection. Um, I platinumed Heavy Rain. Um, kind of like Telltale, but more graphic heavy, like better graphics and stuff. Um, lots of story, lots of decision making, lots of quick time events. Um, I need to try Beyond Two Souls though, but this one was pretty good. Lots of different endings. It's like a murder mystery. Home. I have not played this. A unique horror adventure. It's another like 8-bit style horror game. Infamous Second Son. Uh, this might have been my first PS4 Platinum Trophy. Um, very fun game, though. He plays a basically a superhero, like vigilante kid who gets powers and can do whatever you want. Really fun game. Inside plus Limbo. It says right there. Not on the front, though. Um, I beat Inside. Wait, I beat Limbo, not Inside. Limbo was pretty fun. It was like a like an indie side-scrolling um, platformer. Like you die a lot, though. It's kind of hard. Um, the graphics are cool though, because it's all shadowy. And I'm assuming Inside's about the same type of game. Jotun Valhalla Edition. Um, I don't remember what this game is, but I remember being interested in it. Good look. I don't remember at all. Yeah, I don't remember. It looked cool though. I remember looking this game up and liking what I saw. Colot uh, had to import this from the PAL region as well. Um, this is a survival horror. Wait. The FPP horror experience set in a mysterious open world based on the motives of a true story. So uh, this is based on the Dyatlov Pass incident, like a true story. So I really want to. I've really been wanting to try this. I might wait till Halloween. Um, I think it might be a walking simulator. I can't remember, but uh, it looked really cool, and we didn't get it in the U.S. So, I have the uh, Kingdom Hearts 1.5 plus 2.5 remix. Comes with Kingdom Hearts uh, Rechain of Memories 358 slash Two Days. Uh, just the cin cinematics of that one. Kingdom Hearts 2, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, and the recoded cinematics. So, cool little limited edition. Comes with a pin back here. 
And you know, I had to get the 2.8 final chapter prologue, these these titles. It also comes with a pen. And this one comes with uh, Dream Drop Distance HD, Birth by Sleep, and Back Cover Cinematics? What is back? I think it might be the mobile game. But yeah, it's really cool. NAC 1, I already talked about NAC 2, but I bought this on launch with my PS4, and I was not disappointed like most people were. I actually really liked it. Chromega, or Chromega. This got a semi-limited release, um, physically. Um, it's like a really weird, like, 360-degree shooter. Like, you can go any direction. It's like a shoot 'em up uh, It was really fun from when I played of it. I just need to go back to it. Legend of Key Anniversary. Let me make sure this is still recording. This is this still recording? Yeah, okay. Legend of Key Anniversary. Um... I think this was like a Zelda-like on like the PS2, but they remastered it, and uh, I picked it up. I intended on playing it right away, but I didn't. Lego Batman 3, the third game of the Lego Batman series. Harry Potter Collection, uh, all the Lego games. Um, I'm currently reading the fourth book, and then after that I'm going to play the first game, because I don't want to spoil anything in case there's spoilers in a Lego game. I don't know. Lego Marvel Super Heroes, the only Lego game I've ever beaten, and it was really fun. There's so many games. Life is Strange Limited Edition, um, much like Heavy Rain, just walk around, make decisions, maybe some quick time events, I can't remember. Uh, very good story though, I haven't played it, but a lot of people like it. And then we have the prequel, Before the Storm, same thing. Lily, I have not played Lily. But uh, it looked fun, so I grabbed it. Little Big Planet 3, PlayStation's uh, platform series exclusive. Um, yeah, have not played this one, but played 1 and 2. They're really fun. Lost Sea. Can't remember what this game's about either. Oh, well. Lost Sea. Lost Sphere. This is a RPG. It was a sequel, either a sequel or or a spiritual successor of I Am Setsuna. Um, this got a limited release on the Square Enix store, so I had to pick it up. Um, I hear it's really fun though. Madden 25, Madden 16, Madden 17. Mad Max. Uh, this is a licensed game based off the movie. You got uh, people really like it. It has like a kind of like a cult following. Um, I haven't tried it yet. It was free on PSN not too long ago, but uh, it looks really fun. Mecha ta Mecho Tales. I really don't know what kind of game this is. I'm assuming platformer. I'm not sure. Um, Metronomicon Slay the Dance Floor. Um, sounds like some kind of like music rhythm game, but I'm not really sure. Uh, Metro Redux. This is the PS4 version of Metro 2033 and Metro Last Light. Um, I platinumed Metro 2033. Really fun game. Um, these are first-person shooters. Uh, they're based off a book series, a German, I think German book series. I might be wrong. Might not be German. For now, I'll say German. But anyways, uh, they're very uh, dark, kind of survival horror-y, um, very, like you're underground, there's a lot of stuff going on, uh, there's like, monsters and stuff, very fun game though, I really highly recommend it. I'll just go backwards now. Ukulele, I have not played this yet, uh, this is the makers of uh, Banjo-Kazooie though, which is a really fun game, and you can even tell the setup here, uh, big, big animal with a small winged animal on him. Uh, platformer. Yesterday Origins. Um, original storyline, an intricate puzzle, Wait You and Yesterday Origins, a new adventure game. Uh, this is an adventure game. I think it's like point and click. I might be wrong, but yeah. Ease Origins. Origin. Um, the Ease games are really fun. 
Uh, they like little hack and slash adventure games, um, action adventure games. Uh, this is Ease Origin though. Yakuza Kiwami. This is the PS4 remaster of Yakuza 1 from the PS2. Um, Yakuza is really Shinmu like, um, kind of like Sleeping Dogs type of game. Uh, Japanese fighting in the streets and stuff. Really fun. Trying to talk quietly because my fiance is doing homework. Uh, Zeo Drifter. I have not played this. I'm not really sure what it is. Oh. There's Wonder Boy The Dragon's Trap. Um, this is a platformer that came out. It's a, the Wonder Boy series, I think, it was on the Mega Drive. Uh, this is the newer one. Wolfenstein The New Order. I have not played this yet, but it's a lot like Metro and Doom. It's like first person shooter. The Wolf Among Us, another Telltale game. Uh, based off, I think, comic books? Yeah, DC Comics. Based off comic books. Um, I haven't played it, but there's like Little Red Riding Hood and the Big Bad Wolf and like all those kind of fairy tale people in it. Witcher 3, huge open world uh, action adventure game. I want to play this. I beat Witcher 2. This one looks really fun. Windjammers. I can't remember what this is. I think it's a volleyball game. But, yep. What Remains of Edith Finch. Uh, I Am 8-Bit did a limited release of this game. It's supposed to be one of the best walking simulators, one of the best stories, um, so I can't wait to play it. Until Dawn, I platinum this one. Um, it's kind of like Heavy Rain, with quick time events and decision making and stuff, uh, but it's like a 90s slasher flick horror type of genre, like if you're watching Scream or something, or I Know What You Did Last Summer type of thing, but very fun game. Uncharted Lost Legacy, haven't played this yet, but it looks fun. Uncharted 4, platinum this one. Um, the fourth installment in the Uncharted series. If you haven't played Uncharted, you are missing out. Uncharted the Nathan Drake collection. I've beaten all three of these and platinum the third one. Um, great, great games. Go get this. Transformers Devastation. Haven't played this yet. Really want to. Town of Light. Um, another limited, not a limited run, but had a limited release, I think. If I'm remembering right. It's a survival horror, horror game. I think it's also based on a true story. Uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Wait, is this the... Yeah, this is the sequel to the reboot of the Tomb Raider. Um, it was an Xbox One exclusive at first, and then it came out in this fancy little book type way when it came to PS4. And here is the definitive edition of the reboot of Tomb Raider. Very fun game. My game of the year of 2013, I believe. Um, very Uncharted-like. Thief. Um, think Dishonored, just not as good. <laughs> Tales of Zestir Zestiria. Uh, the Tales games, Japanese... Uh, action RPGs, like, they're not turn-based, they're, like, real-time RPGs, uh, very fun games, though. Anime cutscenes. Uh, Strafe. Um, it's supposed to be, like, a, kind of like an old-school first-person shooter, like a, like, Turok or something, but it got really bad reviews. SteamWorld Collection, uh, SteamWorld Dig and SteamWorld Heist. I have not played these yet, but... They look fun. Stardew Valley. Um, it's kind of like a Harvest Moon type game. I'm going to start this soon. Uh, South Park The Fractured Butthole. Uh, do you get that title? Uh, it's RPG with uh, South Park. With South Park story. Um, it also came with Stick of Truth. Which I started but never, never finished. I need to get to these. 
Song of the Deep. Um, Insomniac made this. It's like a underwater platformer. Looks really cool. Make sure it's still recording. Okay, we're good. Oh, sleeping Dogs. Sleeping Dogs just platinum this on stream this week or last week. A uh, very fun game, kind of like Yakuza, kind of GTA meets Watch Dogs meets Yakuza. It's a really fun game. Sky Force. Uh, I don't remember what this is. Uh, looks like a shooter. I think it's a shoot 'em up, shmup. Shovel Knight probably doesn't need an introduction. It's like an old school platformer. It's supposed to be kind of hard. Shantae, Half Genie Hero. These games look really fun, and I really want to play all of them. Uh, they're like side-scrolling platformer type games. Sorry, I'm trying to get out of the way here. Uh, Middle Earth Shadow of War. Um, it's like Assassin's Creed and the Lord of the Rings world. Very cool game. Oh, sh Shadow Warrior 1 and 2. Uh, it's like a first person shooter. Um, it doesn't take itself too seriously. There's a lot of humor in it. Very fun game. I haven't played 2 yet, but uh, Special Reserve did a limited physical release, so I picked that up. The prequel to Shadow of what is it? Shadow of War, Shadow of Mordor. It's just the same. It's a prequel of it. So I'm going backwards. The remake of Secret of Mana, which is a GameStop exclusive. It's kind of hard to get a hold of this. Rocket League, probably my favorite competitive game ever. Maybe I don't know. I love Rocket League. Turn this way again. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, where was I? Right here. Risk of Rain. Um, action platformer. Another uh, limited run game. Rhyme. Um, this is like an adventure game. As far as I know, there's no combat in it. Uh, I love the art style in that game, though. Revenant Saga. I think this is an RPG. I'm uh, pretty sure. It's a limited run game. Resident Evil 7. Just completed this on stream Saturday before last. Um, it's like Resident Evil, but in first person. And they took a lot of what they did with this game from the PT demo. I don't know if you guys have played that. Very scary game, though. Resident Evil 5. This game gets a lot of hate, and it's really fun, actually. Play it with two people, and you'll have a lot of fun. Two people. Resident Evil Revelations 2. I haven't played either one of the first two, but they go back to the old school Resident Evil, so I really want to. Resident Evil Origins Collection, which comes with Resident Evil 1 and Resident Evil 0. Um, I never got through one originally on the... PS1, because the controls were kind of like, but uh, I really want to play through this. They redid the controls, it's like normal controls now. The Ratchet and Clank reboot, um, based on the movie, or maybe the movie is based on this, I don't know. Gets really good reviews though. Then we have a couple of VR games, PlayStation VR, like little mini games. VR Worlds and the demo disc. What is this? Oxen Free. This got really good reviews. Um, I need to play through this. I don't know a lot about it. It's like an adventure game. The emotional adventure game you need to know about. Uh, very cool game, apparently. Octodad, Deadly Sketch. Never played this. I have no idea. No Man's Sky. This is a limited edition. Yes, I did not return mine. Um, I wanted to support the devs, you know. Um, they just released a new update for this, so maybe it'll get better. I'm excited to at least go try for the Platinum on it, because uh, I like the idea of it. Exploring worlds, making your own ship and stuff. Making your own ship. 
the Order 1886. Um, cool little like over the shoulder type shooter game. Um, people got mad because it was so short. It's like four or five hours. Ocean Horn. Um, this was a Steam game for the long, for a really long time. Steam only. It's like a Zelda clone. It plays like old school Zelda, but looks like Wind Waker. Um, but when it came out on PS4, I had to grab it. The Nonary Games. This comes with... I know it has 999, which is a... I that is somewhere. Which is a GameCube game. Or not GameCube. DS game. And it has some other games on it, but I forgot. But, yeah. Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom. I love the first Nino Kuni, so I had to pick this up. I haven't played this one yet, though. Night Trap, another full motion video game. Um, the first one was on Sega Saturn or CD, I can't remember. But, yeah, this was cool. Next Machina, um, supposedly one of the best shooters ever. I don't know, we'll see. If you didn't see that, we'll see. Need for Speed Rivals. I used to be really into Need for Speed on the PS2, but uh, I'm just not into it anymore, but this game was pretty fun. N++, another limited run game. I think it might be some kind of platformer or puzzle game. Murdered Soul Suspect. Got this for super cheap at a pawn shop. Um, I think you're trying to figure out your own murderer. You're like a ghost or something. I can't remember. And last but not least, Mighty Number no. 9. Uh, got a lot of crap, obviously, because the creator of Mega Man made this and did the whole, like, you know, uh, Kickstarter thing and pissed a bunch of people off because they don't like it. I'll judge that for myself, though. But uh, thanks for watching, guys, and tell me what you think. If you have any questions about any of these or want to tell me about any games I didn't know what they were, let me know. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash C underscore stove. Now I'm going to go turn the camera off.